It's July already. Where is the time gone? It's halfway through 2023. Well, with it being halfway through, I'm gonna follow up on what I said back in January about my writing goals. In July, I was gonna look at them, see how I was doing, and see if I needed to make some changes. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, I absolutely do. What up, internet? I'm Tim Green. I'm your writing mentor with over 20 years of writing experience. I'm here to guide you on this writing journey with insights and expertise from my own journey to help you reach new heights. Before we dive into today's content, let me tell you about something that will that will revolutionize your writing. My free Excel word count trackers. Also, if you go on to enjoy this video, I would love it if you smash the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and you know, subscribe. So with that done, let's get started. What were my goals? How am I doing? Am I changing anything? Well, I'm about to answer those questions. Now I had two sections for my goals. I had YouTube and I had writing. So I'm gonna put my YouTube goals on the screen now. Wait, that was too fast for you? Don't worry about it. I'm about to go over them, okay? Just relax. Just relax. I got you. All right, so how am I doing with this one? Well, I can tell you for a fact that the, the goal for YouTube is an absolute utter failure. I failed at my first goal on YouTube. That is post 52 videos, 52 quality videos on the channel, one every week. If you've been following my channel lately, you know last few months I've only been posting a video roughly every other week. Part of this is because I've been feeling burnt out. My strategy for videos changed <laughs> almost immediately. Yeah, I just kind of like, <sighs> I've also put out some videos I am not happy with the quality. So I found that posting less videos currently is best for me. So I'm changing this goal from 52 to 14. Those 14 videos do not, they do not include the Truthsayer zero draft update videos. No. YouTube shorts. I've filmed some, they were shit, and I keep forgetting to refilm them. So yeah. So I'm going to make a, a small change here. My goal is just to get five YouTube shorts out now. And I think that is more doable. If I looked at my list of shorts, I think I actually have five ready to go. As for my Truthsayer zero draft update videos, well, we kind of need to talk about my writing goals and Truthsayer. So let's just go there. All right, so let's talk my writing goals. I'm gonna put them on the screen now. Now. Now, so as you saw from that, I have four goals with a few bonus goals in this section. I'm not going right to Truthsayer. If that's all you care about is you can go to this timestamp here. We're gonna start with two goals I'm doing well with. So that is long live and 50,000 words. We're gonna start with long live first. So long live is the next novel, standalone novel that's in development after Truthsayer. The goal was just to start development. I can happily say I have right there, right there. It's on the development board. So I have started development to check. There was two bonus goals for this, but they're irreverent. So there's no point to dealing with those. With that said, let's move on to 50,000 words. Let's talk writing 50,000 words total for 2023, which I have 25,189 words done. When, like, when did you write this? When? Who? How? What? Okay, technically it's not 25,000 written. It's 22,589 words because the first 2,600 words I wrote was the last day of 2022. At the end of last year, I had an idea about two friends who have two different views of Christianity. I mapped out a short novella and said, okay, I'll write this. And then I can do a parody of Brandon Sanders' year of Sanderson announcement. I'm not doing that because I never finished the novella because I kept changing the outline. I stopped, mostly because it kept causing me to push working on Truthsayer back in fe February, which is a good thing. It was a reminder of how I've been writing for the last several years of rushing through and I come up with an idea and then trying to get something out on it. It doesn't work for me. I need to know far more than that than just a few weeks of ideas in a quick fleshed out story. Also, it was a good thing because it took a chunk out of my overall 
words I want to write this year. With a little over 25,000 words more to write, I should have absolutely achieved this goal. All right, it's time to talk truth sayer. And more specifically, the truth sayer zero draft. And we'll talk about the update videos as well. Have I started writing the zero draft? But before I answer that question, I need to point out something I said in a video back in April. It was my goal to start writing the zero draft by the end of June. Did I achieve that? Nope, not even close. Holy crap, not even close. And part of the reason was I kind of got burnt out with two weeks until the end of June. And I kind of went down a chat GPT rabbit hole. More on chat GPT coming up in future videos because I have a lot to say on that. After going down those rabbit holes and getting some work on some other projects, thanks to ChatGPT, I didn't get back to working on Trisayer until this past weekend. I finished the scenes list of what I thought was the end of the novel yesterday, Tuesday. And I realized something yesterday as I was starting to work on the last huge chunk it was a hundred scenes on its own. No, 85 scenes on its own. Of 200 scenes, not including the prologue. For a novel that's a hundred, that's supposed to be 85,000 words when it's completed. Everything's done, wrapped up, ready to publish. That realization, this entire scenes list, it's not all for the novel I've been working. It's for some novellas, part of a novella series leading up to this novel I've been thinking about doing. I should say, I am doing because I've just kind of realized, nope, I do want to do that. Which I'm going to save a lot of that details for my True Sayer update video, my next one. Which brings me to my True Sayer Zero Draft update videos. No, I haven't started doing those. No, I have not recorded one because I haven't started doing the Zero Draft. And I'm changing that. The Zero Draft update videos are going to be starting as soon as next week, hopefully. Or the week after, but I'm hoping next week. But I'll also start giving you updates on how it's going for the scenes list and I'll post one every two weeks. When I finally enter the zero draft for the novellas and for the novel, I'll start posting weekly. This is not a failure because I still have until the end of 2023 to start the zero drafts. All right, so are there any other changes I wanna make for that? Wait, hold on, sorry, I forgot a goal, film. Fe feature film. Let's talk feature film. Gone, over, done, deleted. I'm removing it, it's gone, I'm not doing it, nope. Okay, so do I wanna change anything else? Do I wanna add more goals for my goals for 2023? I'm gonna put on the screen in a moment all my current goals updated for the rest of 2023. And those goals will go up now, now. If that was too fast for you, again, just go back and pause it. But I've already covered what I was going over with. So those are the new goals for 2023. I look forward to at the end of the year, going over and see how well I did. Was that a good thing that I made the changes or did I still fail? We'll find out then. There you go. You have my updated goals for 2023. How are your goals going? For Let me know down in the comment section. I wanna know, I wanna be able to encourage you so so that you achieve your goals. Since you made it here, I'm assuming you enjoyed it. So why not smash that like button and subscribe. Both actions help me out and help grow this channel. And I really appreciate it if you did if you did that. Don't forget about my free Excel word count trackers. Learn what the best writing hack ever is by clicking this video right here. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.